We're going across straight to a press conference that is being held by the Punjab DGP. Listen in. आपको बता देंगे मेन ये है कि आपको पता ही है कि एक प्रोजेक्टाइल ने हिट किया है और उसमें जो एक्सप्लोजिव इस्तेमाल हुआ है वो टीएनटी लग रहा है बाकी इसमें जिस जिस तरीके से इंसिडेंट हुआ है शाम के टाइम उस टाइम कमरे में कोई नहीं था और इम्पैक्ट दीवार पे आया इसलिए नुकसान कोई नहीं हुआ है और लेकिन ये चैलेंज है और हम इसको आ, इस केस को सॉल्व करने के लिए पूरे कोशिश कर रहे हैं और जल्दी सॉल्व कर रहे हैं थैंक यू देखिए कोई कोई जानवाल का नुकसान नहीं हुआ है और बाकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन जो निकलेगा वो आपके अब आपके गिरफ्तारी होगी तो बता दी जाएगी हर्ट रुद्ध पंजाब डीजीपी हैज स्पोकन अबाउट एन अरेस्ट इन दिस केस बट हैज नॉट गिवन आउट मेनी मोर डिटेल्स इन फैक्ट यू हर्ट from the media also asking questions of the punjab police there the punjab dgp addressing the media on the developments from yesterday evening last evening remember punjab is on high alert after a rocket propelled grenade hit police intelligence wing headquarters in mohali last evening you heard the press uh, conference on this entire issue in fact there was a sound bite essentially from the punjab police The initial probe of course shows that people behind the blast came in in a white swift desire car. Cops have found a dump of nearly 7000 mobile phones from three nearby mobile phone towers. Mohali police has picked nearly a dozen suspects for questioning. They are being questioned at an undisclosed location. An IA team visited the attack site midnight to take stock and is all set to send another team today. Investigation is on in the Mohali grenade attack to see if it was a terror attack. Meanwhile banned Khalistani outfits leader Pannu has issued threatening message to Himachal chief minister saying he must take a lesson from the Mohali attack Pannu's warning comes after Khalistani flags were found hanging at the Himachal assembly gate on Sunday Kal raat jo Mohali de vich ghatna hui hai main DGP sahab na sare intelligence de afsaran na meeting layi hai aur sara डिटेल जी है वो निकल रही है और गिरफ्तारियां कुछ हो भी गई कुछ हो जाएगी तो जड़ा तक पहुँच जाएंगे तो मैं यही बार बार कहना चाहता थोड़े जरिए कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल को खराब करने की कोशिश की थी वो बख्शे नहीं जाऊगा सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी उन्होंने कई पीढ़ियाँ याद रखनगिया कि असी पंजाब जो हसद हसद पंजाब है वनू तोड़न की कोशिश की सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी एक यार माइनर ब्लास्ट है और नुकसान अभी कोई नहीं हुआ वो धमाका था माइनर ब्लास्ट ब्लास्ट बाहर बाहर से था बार से था नहीं तो क्या आर आरपीजी आरपीजी की तरफ गन टाइप से फायर किया गया और किसने फायर किया वो सारी तब्दील चल रही है इससे नहीं किसने फायर किया इग्नोर नहीं किया जा सकता है Manjeet is getting us more on that he is joining us from Mohali right now Manjeet as far as the investigations are concerned the Punjab DGP did say that some arrests have been made do take us through the details of what you really picking up from your sources within the Punjab police Well sir so as far as the investigation is concerned uh, nearly a dozen people have been rounded up they are being questioned at an undisclosed uh, location police sources say that uh, they'll be able to tell uh, what uh, was the outcome of their questioning after the investigation is over uh, the Punjab DGP VK Bhavra a short while ago addressed a press conference in which he said the explosives used in this blast were TNT category uh, he refused to divulge much details but said that the investigations are currently on and police is uh, uh, looking into all the angles uh, all the aspects of the case uh, be it the khalistan or be it the involvement of the gangsters uh, as far as the blast is concerned uh, sneha i want to show to our viewers that this is the building where the blast took place if you see on the third floor uh, there is there are broken window panes uh, this and this was the angle from where 
the RPG was fired. And if I ask the cameraman to show, this uh, building has been uh, adequately fenced and is located just on the road. And uh, if uh, I ask the cameraman to show the entrance of this building, there's a huge deployment of the police force. And also there are guards who are uh, on the duty around the clock. But the question is how the miscreants, how these anti-social elements managed to fire the RPG that too in front of this entrance and in front of this important building. So investigations are currently on. Police now assuring that the persons behind this uh, incident will be arrested soon. Uh, but as far as the investigation is concerned, the police has also picked uh, data of nearly 7,000 mobile phones from three nearby mobile phone towers and 11 persons who were rounded up are being questioned. Uh, besides this, uh, sources also say that a white-colored vehicle was also used uh, to cause this blast in which uh, at least two people were present and this RPG, uh, uh, RPG uh, object which was fired is believed to be of the military grade. So this is the initial investigation. More details will emerge after the investigation is over. Sneha. We're just going to come back to you for more on that big developing story from the state of Punjab. Politics, of course, has erupted over the attack on Punjab police and tell office in Mohali. While condemning the attack, opposition leaders have taken on the Maan government for the failure of intelligence. Punjab Congress drew parallels to militancy and slammed Maan, saying that the history is repeating itself. Congress MP from Punjab, Manish Tiwari, had spoken exclusively to India today, saying that it's unfortunate to see all of this starting once again. Punjab, former Punjab Home Minister, and Congress MLA Sukhjinder Singh Randhawa dubbed the explosion as a sign of deep communalism. Shiromani Akali Dal Chief Sukhbir Singh Badal said the attack exposed serious security lapses, highlighting once again the worsening law and order situation in Punjab. Chief Minister of Punjab has, however, said strict action is going to be taken. Attackers won't be spared. It is not appropriate to bring a point uh, because the security of Punjab actually involves the security of the nation. Punjab has been at the receiving end of the depredations of Pakistan's policy of leading India with a thousand cuts since 1975. We paid a very heavy price in blood between 1980 and 1995. Uh, unfortunately, Pakistan just does not let up. So therefore, uh, what we are seeing is probably a new phase in that proxy war because an RPG attack on the headquarters of the Punjab police's intelligence uh, is a kind of an open signal by the separatists and the terrorists that they would want to disturb the peace and uh, the communal harmony of Punjab. Therefore, under those circumstances, this is a time to rise above parties and politics both the central government and the state government must coordinate. They must bring all elements of national power to bear. 